Navicular stress fracture. The navicular bone located in front of the talus serves as a keystone for the stability of the medial arch or the inner arch. Any pain directly over the navicular raises the possibility of serious injury that can lead to severe disability and chronic pain. Navicular injury is considered high risk, particularly for runners. Up to 30% of navicular stress fractures are missed or are treated in a delayed manner, which increases the risk of fracture non-union and other complications. Although there are different clinical possibilities for pain over the navicular area, in this lecture we will discuss about the navicular stress fracture. Causes and risk factors for navicular stress fracture. Although the mechanism of injury is not completely known, it is presumed to be due to repeated strain and poor training techniques, usually from high impact sports leading to the navicular bone getting pinched or impinged between the bones to the front and back of it, causing it to be compressed. Navicular stress fractures are relatively common among long distance runners and participants in track and field, especially among sprinters, hurdlers, and jumpers. Female athletes appear to be at greater risk. The clinical complaint of navicular stress fracture. Patients can present anywhere from a few weeks to several months after the onset of pain. Usually, the complaint will be of poorly localized pain in the navicular area, shown here on the model. Often, after conservative measures and activity modification have failed to alleviate the symptoms. The pain may radiate to the surrounding area. The pain will ease with rest and increase with physical exercise. Local tenderness over the navicular bone, over what is called the end spot, will be present. Making the diagnosis of navicular stress fracture. At the doctor's office, one of the primary concerns is to evaluate whether the medial arch remains intact to exclude other potential reasons of medial arch pain. This will be done simply by observing the patient bearing his full weight and noticing whether the arch is intact and does not collapse. Later, the patient will be asked to raise his heels, looking for proper alignment and for the elicit of the pain. Palpation should focus over the navicular, identifying tenderness directly over what we call the end spot will suggest navicular stress fracture. Plain radiographs will be ordered. If the clinical suspicion is high, but the radiographs will not demonstrate the fracture, a CT scan or MRI will be ordered. The treatment for navicular stress fracture. Unless the clinician has experienced managing injuries of the medial arch, consultation with an orthopedic surgeon should be obtained for any navicular injuries as such injuries could compromise the integrity of the medial arch and the biomechanics of the foot. Navicular stress fractures will be classified according to the severity, where the more simple ones with no complications will be treated with a short leg, strict, non-weight bearing cast for six to eight weeks. As the classic study of navicular stress fractures suggested that they are rarely healed if patients remain weight-bearing. Return to full sport activities typically requires four to six months with the non-surgical management, 
where those with sedentary jobs can return to work shortly after the injury as long as they are pain-free while weight-bearing. Larger fractures or complicated ones are at high risk of delayed union or non-union and are usually treated surgically using a pin or a screw to fix the bone. A rehabilitation program must be followed with a steady progress closely supervised ranging gradually from minimal impact activities like stationary cycling to maximal impact activities like running. This should be done over a period of four to eight weeks.